All right, now Apple announced the iOS 17, which brings in some amazing new features, out of which some of them were already there on the Android phones and few of them were new. Out of which one amazing feature which I wanted to discuss in this video is the standby display which provides glanceable information while the iPhone is charging. Now this particular feature is something really new and this is not available on the Samsung Galaxy phones or any other Android phones. But in this video we are going to see how we can use this feature on a Samsung Galaxy phone to some extent. But before that let's understand what exactly is this feature all about on the iPhones. Apple says this feature gives users a full screen experience with glanceable information designed to be viewed from a distance when iPhone is on its side and charging. Standby is perfect on a nightstand, kitchen counter or desk and can be personalized to display a range of beautiful clock styles, favorite photos or widgets including smart stacks which surface the right widgets at the right time. With support for live activities, Siri incoming calls and larger notifications, standby makes iPhone even more useful when viewed at a distance. This is a very well executed feature by Apple. I'm sure Samsung could have thought about this feature but for some reason to conserve the battery we just got the basic always on display with clock styles and some widgets on the Samsung Galaxy phones. Now let's talk about the possibility of this feature on a Samsung Galaxy phone. To some extent, we can enable this feature in a different way. We will be able to enable a huge clock which can sit on this entire screen while the phone is charging. We can make the screen to display selected images from your gallery when you have plugged in the charger for wireless charging or the wired charging. To execute one of these features, we can use the Bixby routines and a third party application. Here we have a third party app called Huge Digital Clock which offers a beautiful beautiful looking clocks with current date information as well as the weather information. I will leave the link to download this application in the description. You can go ahead and check it out. After you install this application, all you need to do is go to the settings, tap on modes and routines, go to the routines tab and tap on this plus button to create a new if and then condition. I'll tap on if condition. Under device, we have got charging status. I'll just tap on this. Here you can select both wired charging and wireless charging. I'll tap on done. The then condition would be opening an application. I'll tap on apps, open an app or do an app action. Now here I will select huge digital clock application which I have downloaded. Tap on done and tap on save. Now what happens is Whenever you have plugged in the charger, the huge digital clock application will open up automatically showing you the time, weather and the current date information. And this looks beautiful in landscape mode. Now here on my S23 Ultra, I have got this case from Pitaka which supports the MagSafe accessories. So I'm able to place this phone horizontally on this wireless charging pad. And in this mode, the digital clock looks just amazing. Even in the portrait mode, it looks nice. So if you don't have these accessories, then you can go ahead and place it vertically. This is how we can enable this feature to some extent on the Samsung Galaxy phones using Bixby routines and this third party application. Now let's say you don't want to see the clock, you just want to see some of the images or your old memories from the gallery. For this all you need to do is go to settings, tap on display. At the bottom you will see this option screen saver. I'll tap on this. It says show a screen saver after the screen turns off automatically while your phone is charging. So while the phone is charging, the screen saver will be automatically enabled. And the cool thing is we can select these options here. As you can see, we've got photo frame, we've got photo table. Select the one you want, tap on the settings icon to select the album for the photo frame. We've got all these albums which are available in the gallery. I'll select one of them. Let's go back. I can just check the preview right here by tapping on this preview button. Whenever the charger is plugged in, the screen saver will be turned on with all these images that you have selected. That is just amazing. These are the two ways we can enable the standby displays for Samsung Galaxy phones. Unfortunately, we do not have an option to interact with the screen like we can do it on the iOS 17's standby display. Apple has just executed it brilliantly on the iPhone's iOS 17 and I'm sure Samsung or the Android phones will come up with some ideas to implement this particular feature because this is an essential feature which can turn your phone into a smart display while charging it or even without charging it, we should be able to enable this feature on the phone. On the iPhone with this feature, we can also access home controls, music controls, smart stacks for applications and we will also be able to interact with Siri from a distance in hands-free mode. That is just brilliant from Apple and I really urge Samsung to implement something like this maybe in a better 
way with more functionalities. That will be really great. You guys let me know what do you think? Should Samsung consider this feature? Do drop a comment and let me know in the comment section below. Apart from some of the functionalities which can be enabled on the Galaxy phones, you can also enable music controls. Let's say you can uh, create a routine to open the Spotify application while the phone is charging or maybe a few other applications which you would prefer to have in the landscape mode while the phone is charging. So that's up to you how you want to create the routines. You can go ahead and create it as per your requirement. That's about it. That's all I want to share with you guys. As soon as we get the iOS 17, I will show you guys how this particular feature works on the iPhones. Probably on One UI 7, we can expect to see this feature. I'm just guessing it. Let's see whether Samsung is going to consider it or not. That's about it. If you find this video interesting, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to know your phone better. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.